Hey, hey, everybody. Welcome back to another video, The Tea on MPD and Relationships. Hello, everyone. To all of my new subscribers and new family members, hello and welcome. And to my tribe and family at large, fam, y'all know what time it is. Welcome back. Thank you all so much for coming back and, of course, watching another video. Y'all know I love to always mention our Thursday night live streams. Y'all know I'm always pushing that. Thursday, Thursday night live stream. This is where we go from healing to wholeness to boldness, okay? You do not want to miss that Thursday night live stream, y'all. 5 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. We go live right here on the channel. Turn your notification uh, bell on so you are alerted every time we drop a video. Every time we upload a video, every time we go live, you'll be notified, all right? And y'all know every time we drop a video, I'm always asking y'all hit that like button, hit that like button, hit that like button. You know the goal of the day is 2.1K plus 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 on the likes if you rocks with your girl. All right, y'all? Okay, so let's jump into the topic of this video. Let's get into it, okay? Y'all see this lazy little... One right here. Let me turn the camera around so y'all can see it. Y'all see this? Rotten. <laughs> Bella Bella. Okay. So, listen. Let's talk about it. The narcissist is going nowhere. Okay? They're not going anywhere. This is for my people that are out there really trying to get out of the situation with a narcissist. Okay? Trying to really leave them come out of the situation um hope hoping that at some point the narcissist will get the, a clue and get up out of there no they're not going to and not only that for those of you that have discarded a narcissist and you have not changed your phone number um and not only that you did not block them you have not blocked them on social media they still have access to your social media, your email, your phone, your text message, your phone, or whatever. Um, yeah, the narcissist is not going anywhere. One thing that you got to understand about these people is that when you leave them, that basically turns on their obsession. It's crazy, but it's the truth. And especially if you were the one that left and the narcissist was basically, you, they were blindsided by the discard. She has a little cone on her head, y'all. I got to stop real quick. She got a little cone on her head because uh, she had a little boo-boo on her foot, on her little paw. She kept picking at it. So we had to put a little cone on her head so she would stop. <laughs> but anyway, just wanted to let y'all know. Anyway, so whenever you're dealing with them, that obsession is basically turned on once you once you let them go if you blindsided them with a discard you better believe they're not going anywhere that narcissist is going to hound you they're going to call you they're going to text you they're going to find other people to call you find other people to text you find other people to harass you for information about your life and I'm talking about you are basically done with this clown okay you are way past done they are not going anywhere they don't like situations that they cannot control so as crazy as it is guess what this is what a narcissist thinks as long as they can still call you or they can still text you, email you uh, at so, in some type of way. Their energy can become a part of your sphere. Guess what the narcissist thinks? They're in their demented minds. Okay. They feel that they have a level of control over you because they get to just even access you at those points and they may not even get an answer it's not about an answer it's about what you're going to think when you see that missed call or that blocked call and you go to the voicemails and you check it and you see it right or that email that you never responded to or that text message 
that you never responded to. They don't care about you not responding because they know at a certain point, because they still have those access points open, at some point you are still you're gonna allow them access to you again. This is how they roll. Because just like the devil, he is relentless, okay, in his pursuit of humanity and how he tries to wear us down, okay? into doing things that we know are ungodly. Guess what? The narcissist is the same way. They have that same spirit inside of them. So, yeah, you you probably you're probably sick and tired of them. Tired of them calling, tired of them calling from block numbers, tired of them call, uh trying to text you from uh burner numbers and all of that. But the truth of the matter is is that you're dealing with a functioning lunatic. And the only way that you're going to truly be able to get a person like this off of your trail is that you got to go and do some real drastic stuff. And I'm talking about drastic like you can't you can't stay in the house with them and, and tell them that I don't want anything to do with you. No, that doesn't work with the narcissist. They're always going to find some type of way to manipulate you. They're going to always find some type of way to manipulate the situation so that you will fall right back underneath their control and they will start controlling the situation all over again. This is a see what you have to understand about them is that the entities that they operate in or that, you know, embody them. These entities are age old. They've been around way before you, way before me. OK, so the way that a narcissist manipulates is on a whole nother level of evil. You know what I'm saying? That's like a that's that's I mean, you can't even fathom that type of evil. So, yeah, when you're dealing with them and they they you know, they happen to pop right over into that obsession because once you're gone, you know, they're, they, this is when they want you the most because they always want what they can't have. They don't want the new supply. They got them. That's boring. After about six weeks of that, most of y'all going to testify. Those of y'all that have been through it, you're going to testify the narcissist was shown up trying to get back to you after about six to eight weeks, maybe three months being over there with that new supply. Why is that? Low boredom threshold. Low boredom threshold. They don't have, they have a low boredom threshold. And when you think about how this narcissist did the things that they, you know, they did when they were with you and how horrible they were, that should be enough to make you want to just be like, you know what? I don't care where you go and I don't care what you do, just as long as you're not doing it over here with me. Okay. But yeah, they're not going anywhere. So if you're wondering, how do I get rid of them? How do I just say, you know, don't ever call. I mean, when I, when I say don't call me anymore, don't call me. I really mean that. The only way that you're going to ever be able to really show them what you are, you know, basically put your words in. The, you, you're going to have to put your words into action. When you say you're blocked, you got to really block them. When you say don't call me and they, they continue to call you, you got to go down there and file a police report. They're harassing me. And I know you probably like, oh, I don't want to be doing all, I don't want to get into all of this and that. But if you don't, the narcissist is trained to wear you down. That's what they train you to do. To wear you down. That's what they did in the relationship with you. You tell them no. They kept at you and at you and at you and at you until you said, okay, finally, just okay, just leave me alone. That's what they do. That's what they do. So if you're if you're still in the home with them and you're trying to get the narcissist to move out, unless they got another supply that's got more than what's all, what you're offering at the house, they're not going. You're going to have to eat. Listen, you could, go, you could grow a tree in the middle of that house <laughs> and turn it into a rainforest, <laughs> baby. They will get them some rainforest gear and be right up there in that house. Listen, right there with you. Okay? 
And, and they wouldn't care. I mean, you know, turn the whole house into a jungle. They're not leaving. Because guess what? The reason they're not is because they don't want you to go somewhere and be happy. They don't want you to go somewhere and completely get your entire life together. They know that as long as that as long as that they are there, you're gonna always be in some type of trap and bondage. And that's what they want. They don't want you to be happy. They're miserable. Why would they want you to be happy? You understand what I'm saying? So if you think they're going to leave, they ain't leaving. They're not going anywhere. That narcissist is going to stay there to make sure you are as miserable as possible, whether you discarded them or not. That's it. That's it and that's all, folks. All right, family? So don't try, don't try to stay there and try to figure it out and see how you can cohabitate under a roof with a complete animal. They're of a different species. <laughs> I, I said it. They have a different species. How you going to cohabitate with a backwards walking giraffe? Mm. <laughs> Can't. Can't do it. Can't do it. These birds, these backwards flying pigeons with the feathers missing, they're going to have, they going to have broke down feathers all over your house. Get them up out of there. I told y'all before, birds belong in the trees, okay? Not in your bed and show enough not in your head, all right? So family, I love you all. Take really good care of yourselves, all right? And I'll see you all on the next video, fam. And I will see you all healed and whole at the top. Shalom, family. Peace.